Hey man, say man, back at y'all again today, man, with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on one of my favorite places to stay out here in Blackhawk, Colorado. This is going to be the Ameristar Casino Hotel Review. I highly recommend anybody passing through the area to come check out this casino. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this review. When you walk into the hotel lobby, you'll notice it's a very clean, modern design. It's been this way for quite a while. Nothing really changes in the lobby, so I sped this up. There is a little gift shop over there on the right side of the reception area. Dual fireplace seating areas, if it is cold, you can go ahead and sit down and warm up. But we already checked in, so we're just gonna head back up to the room and show y'all what it looks like. The elevators, when you first walk into the hotel lobby, are going to be on the right-hand side. We're gonna be staying on the 29th floor this time, so you're gonna have to slide your key card. Thankfully, that person already did it for us, so I didn't have to put the camera down. These elevators are pretty quick, nothing to be scared of, but it gets you where you need to go. Last time I was here, we stayed on the 31st floor, and this time we'll be on the 29th. The room I'm staying in this time is going to be a deluxe king suite. These hallways are pretty long, but luckily, my room was right off the elevator. When you check in, they're going to ask you if you would like a mountain or a city view. I went ahead and went with the mountain view, and this room only cost me $95 a night. Here's what it looks like. Got the deluxe king suite. Very, very big bed. Love the bed. Got a nice little chaise lounger. Of course, we do have a table. Here's the current view. It's snowing pretty good out there. Um, that guy's been stuck since yesterday. But this is what we're looking like. Got a 400 square foot room. Would have been a little bigger if I got the double queen, but you know, we're just a king. Here is our closet. Good size closet. Put just about all you need in there. The light over the closet door comes on and shuts off when you shut the door. That's a pretty cool feature. On into the bathroom. Let's see what we're working with. Very, very nice. So we have our tub, granite countertop, and granite throughout. There is our walk-in shower. Very nice. In addition to that, we have our toilet room. Beautiful room. Let's go check out the pool. All right, guys, it's gonna be a short ride from the 29th floor on up to the pool, which will be on the 34th floor, the roof of the Ameristar Casino. Let's go ahead and get on up there. I'm sure you noticed in my last clip when I showed the view from the room, stuff was already blanketed in snow. So yes, I did take these clips the next day after I checked in because hey man, what can I say? The first day I checked in, I went straight down to the casino and got to work. So I'm gonna show you the inside of the pool and the outside they have a nice hot tub outside with the fire seating area let's get it it is absolutely beautiful out here with everything blanketed in snow this is the look from the outdoor fire seating area where the hot tub is located now there is a hot tub inside if you don't choose to go outside when it's snowing but hey i love to be outside in the snow after all that is why we are in the beautiful state of colorado here is the hot tub. It does have an ADA assisted chair for people who are handicapped. I love that feature. Rest in peace to my father. The last time I made it up here with him, he was in end stage pulmonary fibrosis. So he wasn't able to make it inside the casino, but I did win him some money. Back inside, here's what the pool looks like. It is a very, very nice pool. That back corner area is the indoor hot tub surrounded by those palm trees. And the pool has a very nice tile design throughout the whole thing. All right, guys, now this is the same place about 12 hours later. It's currently snowing out here, so everything's nice and blanketed. Now, the Ameristar Casino is definitely not the only casino worth checking out in this town, but in my opinion, it has the nicest hotel rooms, and it's probably my favorite place to stay. My other top three favorite casinos are going to be Lady Luck, 
the Monarch, and Mardi Gras. And if you need a quick, cheap bite to eat, you can hop on this free complimentary shuttle bus over to Sasquatch Casino or the Z Casino and get some food at a great price. Because down in the casino towns, there's really nowhere to get food other than the casinos themselves. As everybody knows, you're not supposed to record inside a casino. However, I did get a few clips for y'all guys just so you could see a little bit of what it looks like. Up here is the betting area. That's where you can place your bets and lounge out while you're waiting to see what happens. Before I wrap up this video, I just wanted to show y'all guys the gym and leave you with some of my final thoughts. The Ameristar Casino in Blackhawk, Colorado has the nicest hotel rooms in the area to stay in. I highly recommend you book your stay here if you're going to visit Blackhawk, Colorado. The food options can be kind of pricey here, but I highly recommend the tacos if you do get hungry and don't feel like leaving the casino. This casino is located smack dab in between Denver, Colorado and Loveland Ski Area. One of my favorite places to snowboard and it makes it very easy to get there because the Ameristar Casino has a covered parking garage. So you don't have to worry about shoveling your car out in the snow. You can just hop in and go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was my first ever hotel review so I'm sure I missed a few things. But if y'all guys like this content please comment down below and I'll be making more in the future. Until next time, guys, I'll be out this thing. Peace.